What's up guys, welcome to my channel, this is Rajat Gupta. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can actually view, create, edit and work on your office files like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook in your computer without actually installing the Microsoft Suite. So for this tutorial, you don't need to install Microsoft Suite on your computer uh, because this extension that I'm talking about is actually provided by Microsoft itself. It's free for use for your home personal use and you can install in your browser for free. So the, the extension is called Office Online and it's provided by Microsoft. It's currently um, available for Microsoft Edge as well as Google Chrome. So let me jump onto my computer and I'll walk you through how you can actually make use of this extension and work on your Office documents without installing the Office Suite in your computer. So I'm on my computer right now and this is the extension that I'm talking about. It's called Office Online. It's either available as the app for from your Microsoft Store, the link for which I'm going to post in the description box, or it's available as the extension in your Google Chrome browser, the link to which I'm going to post again in the description. So I'm going to install this extension in my computer. So uh, just visit this link from the description box, or you can actually search for Office Online. And as you can see, it's actually offered by Microsoft itself. So click on the Add to Chrome button and uh, click on add extension this is gonna install the extension into the browser you can see it's actually installing at the bottom after everything is done it will show you that the extension has been added and this is the icon for that you can click on the icon for more, more options clicking on the icon it produces me uh, this dialog box and it says uh, either i have to sign in with a microsoft account or with my school or work account so as um, i don't have a school or work account i'm gonna sign in with my microsoft account So just log in with your Microsoft credentials and if not then uh, do create one for that. Okay so just log in with your credentials into the Microsoft account and it is now asking for your permissions and click yes. Now the Office Online extension is actually active on your browser. Previously it was not active by default and uh, if you click on there you can actually find your profile picture link with your account and these are the options that I have. So as you can see, my Microsoft account is actually linked to my Office Online account uh, with my profile picture and do, I do have some options also which I can select to sign out. Or otherwise, you can actually click on the Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote or OneDrive. These are the options that are available with Office Online. So uh, for example, like if you want to create a new document, just click on Word. It's going to open a Word Online for you. So Word Online is, is like a separate extension that you can either download and install separately or you can use it along with your Office Online. So if you need to create a new document, just click on the new blank document and it's going to open the Word in the browser for you. And as you can see, it's a complete standalone Word document for me, which is actually open in my browser. I can just type on that. I can work on that like I would do on a regular Microsoft Word. And if you want to save it, just click on file button and uh, click save as uh, either you can save it to your OneDrive account or you can download a copy locally to your computer. For example, I'm just going to click on the download a copy button and it's going to um, produce me a download link and and here's the download file for you. You can uh, you can save it on your desktop, downloads or documents, whatever folder you have, it can be downloaded. Similarly, opening a already existing Word document or any other Excel or you know a PowerPoint document is, is actually very simple. You need to click on upload and open and it's going to browse the files for you. So for example, I'm going to click on this uh, test file that I created and click on the open button and it's going to open the file in a new tab for you. And as you can see, it's, it's currently like a read only mode because there are no, there are no options for that. But if you need to click, um, if you need to edit this document, just click on the, this edit document button and select edit in browser. I do have word installed for me right now. That's why it's showing me edit in word. But uh, if you don't have word installed, then uh, you can actually click uh, edit in browser and it's gonna open in a editable mode. Again, you can actually uh, do save as and uh, either save to your drive or you can actually download a local copy for your computer. See how simple it is. Similarly, if you want to work on other documents like PowerPoint, Excel, these are simple as well. Just click on that file and uh, you know, just click on the new file or open a file. Similarly, you can actually uh, work on this Excel file or PowerPoint file, just like we, we worked on the document. You can create, you can view, you can edit all the files in your browser itself. You don't need to install a Microsoft Suite. So similarly, you can actually save this file also, like do click save as, uh, either you can save it to your OneDrive account or you can actually download a local copy 
and uh, you know just just click on the save button after renaming the file and it would be downloaded so this office online extension actually combines word online excel online powerpoint online and outlook.com if you need to access all these four files together without installing one by one you can actually install office online into your browser or if you don't want to use any of these and separately want to install word then you can just click word online and add to chrome but otherwise it's a very good extension that works perfectly i've been using it for like a month um, in my second laptop which doesn't have office installed and i've been able to edit create and work on my all the office files that i need the most like word and excel it's so in short i do like this extension a lot i hope you like this video and it was useful for you and if it was then give me a like and subscribe to my channel because i'll be sharing more videos on the same lines all right guys i'll see you in the next video